What is going on YouTube? This is John from Emphatic and this is not a repeat. This is our next Emphatic War recap and we immediately matched Bada Bean Clan for a chance for redemption and as you see we took the 84-83 victory. We did have a extra Town Hall 11 in this war. Um, so they did really well almost taking it from us. In fact, at the very end of the war they had a chance to win on percentage and my base held up to keep us with a star advantage. So, tough luck to you guys. Really good war. Both of them have been really a lot of fun. Um, <coughs> yeah, the the whole story of it was again, you know, we struggled ten versus eleven again. See there, you go. Know, I got a a one a no star attack on an eleven. I think we had two of those. We had. I think they all. Let's let's take a quick look. See here. Yeah, so one we got done in two hits. They, they all required more than one hit, basically. Uh, which, again, is something we need to work on. So, let's see, what did we have for 10s here? Oh, this is still the wrong team. We had, I think we had one 10v10, which uh, isn't going to get the job done still. So, it's something we're working on. I think we've diagnosed the problem, and we are working to fix that. Uh, getting some tunnel vision going on just certain bases instead of... Uh, I mean, take a look at our attacks. Uh, aside from the 11 hits, we were going after, what was it, four different bases? We kept hitting six with the same attack plan that wasn't working. You know, it got a 97% one star the first time, but nobody could follow up. So, 6, 13, we have uh, Town Hall 10 hits on, all, all trying to run the same plan as what was hit on six. Um... You know, no, it looks like we were just hitting 6 and 13 and uh, weren't getting the job done. So, aside from our hero, Blaine. And why don't we just jump ahead and go see that attack? You know, this this was one that uh, a couple people hit the same way and Blaine just came in and fixed it. Brought an extra skeleton spell. Everybody started with this bowler taking out this uh, air defense so, uh, good, t good pro tip is a Dark Elixir Drill will allow you to take a max air defense with bowler skips. Level 2 bowler skips at that with a single bowler. Drops Keen and Queen together. So, Queen was being dropped separately in other places, expecting to get the Inferno Tower, yet the main one I saw, she wasn't broken in to about this area where she would be able to go get that. So, Keen's walking away. And, uh, you know, I haven't seen this attack in full yet, so. Does, he doesn't even have any wall breakers. I don't think he's intended on breaking her in, but he's got two freezes. But Queen is starting to work her way in. Pops the ability to uh, go after that expo. No, no, she runs off. Goes to shoot at the Queen, who had three skeleton spells dropped on her head. And the balloons are just going to slowly work their way through. We're already at, I know we've got one more hound left. One more hound for one more air defense. Heal spell is down. Haste is down. Hounds are slowly getting on top of the air defense to uh, allow the hound to get a chance to weaken up so that it may hopefully pop later on in the raid. But all the Teslas are already taken out. A couple back end loons come to get onto the uh, Arshar. He's still got nine balloons not even deployed yet. So he sends a batch of them to the expo. Got a free spell. And he's going to be dropping it right about here where he can try to get. All those defenses, everybody gets to walk right into the uh, Inferno Tower and the Wizard Tower untouched. Although the Inferno Tower does not go down until after it thaws, but there we go. You know, we got some skeleton spells. We still got a balloon in a bag used for uh, Corner Hut. Queen's still alive, so she goes working through her way through. That's really a good way to look at taking out these uh, corner air defense bases. So, so definitely something I'm going to study before our next war. Look at that, 33 balloons he brought with him. So, nice raid to Blaine, way to simplify what everybody was doing and bring it home. So let's just go ahead. We're going to watch Daddy get hit by JJD. I, don't, I really don't know which bases I'm choosing, but look at three air defenses right in a row. Not that it matters for JJD, because uh, he, uh, of course, is bringing his stone hobo. So wizards are down building a funnel. Queen is down behind the golems. 
and the wall breakers coming in, breaking in a joist. So they're going to have a lot of options when they uh, when the bowlers come in. Here come the rest of the uh, wall breakers. Bull the wizards finally finish up the funnel, and bowlers are actually aggroed to the skeletons. It looks like so they're going to go right in, not have to worry about walking. One of them looked like he wanted to, although having that side compartment open means that they are going to spread out a little bit. So Kane goes, trips a bomb, has to drop a heal spell on them. This is likely a fresh hit too, so nice uh, awareness on that heal. A hound in the CC means Queen's going to be hung up for a while, but that's fine. Bowlers are throwing raged rocks everywhere. And really taking out a nice little chunk of this base, even despite it being as compartmentalized as it is. Got a second jump spell to move the king towards the queen. She's down. And he's just got a small little path built up for hogs. Although he has to drop them directly into a tussle farm. So no heal spell for him. He's got to let them all work their way through. Got those, heal, they got those uh, free scout wizards in the bag that he can use to help him out. But I think he's going to swag them. The question is, is he going to drop them at the end of the raid? You know, the hogs are dealing with pups, are dealing with a wizard tower, spring traps. So it's all done. Queen's going to pop her ability, take care of all those pups. And work on getting her way over to that wizard tower. So we're going to speed this up because it's going to go slow. There's no way Queen's dying to that wizard tower. Maybe to the mortar. Nope, she's out of range, so she doesn't have to worry about it. Wizard come and take it out anyways. So, good rated JJD. Swags the Ice Wizards. <coughs> we have Buddha hitting Amanda. Another stoned hobo. Sends in a couple of hogs to take out the uh, mortar there. So that the wizards may start building a funnel in it. They are not going to take out that air defense too because two expos turn on them. But that corner is established for pathing. Meanwhile more wizards and a golem are down at 6 o'clock. He's got 8 wizards at least on the board right now to uh, build this funnel and build it quickly. And it looks like he triggered at least a partial Tesla farm. Oh, because they got that giant bobby there, so some wizards meet their untimely demise there. Jump spell's down. Bowlers can reach that arch tower, but after that, there's no reason for them to uh, try to walk around the base. They go in. Queen already took out the uh, giant bomb, so we have a rage spell down. Queen is in there fighting the CC. Get a heal spell down. Queen pops her ability because she is getting low, despite standing in the heal. And uh, bowlers are running up to go throw rocks at the poisoned queen, who is going real slow. So, get a couple of hogs in while the golemite is tanking the cannon. A couple more hogs from up top to get onto the uh, Tesla. Wizard down to start the cleanup process. And he's still got three hogs in the bag. Drops a heal spell on the wizard tower cannon combo. And that's going to help the rest of his hogs get through the rest of the base. So. Let's see where he's going to drop the final three. He's getting his archers down for cleanup. Drops his hogs on the final cannon but as it, everybody's being tanked. They all go across the giant bomb, so it's going to get real fun dealing with this wizard tower. Fortunately, they work through it pretty quickly. Although, look at how many died to all those small bombs. So he's going to run out of hogs here. So it's going to be up to the queen and the bowlers. Queen's full health. Cannon is just about to fall. I think both cannons are single shot. Yeah, there we go. And they just got to go in and get the uh, gold mine. So, awesome raid to Buddha. Good work. Let's do two more. Because I'm tired today. Cross. Another stoned hobo. I want to find something else. Sorry, Tross. Arbal? 
Do we have a Bolalo? We have a Bolalo. Shattered Bolalo. Oh, he's probably looking to take out at least three air defenses here. Got a wizard down to start building the funnel. One air defense is exposed. Going to drop the uh, poison down on the CC. Five wizards directly behind that golem to uh, take out the CC. So golem's pretty weakened, though. In fact, the uh, wizards all die to... Uh, Wizard and Baby Dragon splash. Queen's following the uh, golems in though. Bullers are down, throwing rocks, and I think they're gonna leave that very top air defense. Maybe not. There they go to go get it, and the bullers gonna die there. That's fine. Queen's gonna take out a third air defense, and then she's gonna be working on cleaning up those. Uh, Archer Towers. Meanwhile, we send Hogs, or Hound and uh, Loons from down there to try to throw a bone to the Queen so she survives. Pathing was a pain, though, because of that mortar. And Bloons are collapsing up top on the final air defense. And Tesla Farm combination as the Hound tanks the Tesla Farm. I don't know if he's going to get any hogs to Hounds to pop here. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Sam. Could the final hound pop? I really don't think so. But he's got a nice split of uh, cleanup troops here. And the balloons split even nicer. So, nice hit tar ball. Let's find one more. Russo hitting Ruby. With a queen walk. Go hobo. Good question as to who is going to fight the queen first. Looks like the baby dragon is. Baby dragon's going to soften her up for the uh, friendly queen. Who gets a rage spell because she's going to have to deal with both heroes here. Wizard's finishing up the build in the funnel. And he's going to go walk in so he can get hit by some archer towers. With well, After a job well done, though. Get a golem down. A couple more wizards build, build that funnel there. Poison down for the CC. Queen is going to pop her ability to deal with them because she's out of rage. And we are getting our wall breakers into the base. Looks like only one wall breaker needed to break that wall. Because <coughs> that golem put the smack down on it. Golem might trigger a double giant bomb. No need to fear for bowlers. Healers are taking a pounding from the air defense. They will not survive much longer, but we have two heal spells. Queen's going to go up. And actually take out that AD. So, oh no, we got at least two healers still alive. Hogs are already out of their way in. We're going to pop a heal spell to protect them in the Tesla farm. Poison down for the skeletons. And we drop the second heal. As they work their way through it. Just a ton of DPS and distractions. And we have a bunch of hogs still standing to take out two... Uh, Archer Towers with really only one spring possible location here to uh, take care of them. Which they don't even hit a spring, so. Good raid to Russo. I think that's going to do it for me. I'm going to keep it nice and short. Uh, we do have quite the random war coming up right now. Emphatic Elite versus One Hive. I'm hearing it. They might be streaming it. So, uh, if I get this out before they start streaming, keep an eye out for it. If not, I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, looking forward to bringing this recap in the near future. Thanks for watching.